Officers assigned to Rampart area responded to the 300 block of North Commonwealth Avenue for a radio call of a man under the influence and hallucinating. Here's the radio call that was broadcast to responding officers. Rampart Unit 415 man in North Commonwealth Avenue, suspect male Hispanic under the influence and hallucinating. Code 2 instead of 5277 RD212. Herbert, what's going on? Just get some cover, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right, yeah, right here. here. I'll see you now. Hey, Herbert, can you open the door? What's up, man? Hey, man, drop that. What the hell is okay? He has something in his hands, bro. All right. sacarlo legalmente por corte si no no quiere vivir aquí okay nosotros no lo podemos sacar a fuerza no, 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 no. A ver, sí. espera abajo qué sí Herbert hey, Herbert Policía Los Ángeles, ¿podemos hablar con usted? Hey, Herbert. Herbert, ¿qué está pasando? Hey, just get some cover, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm right here. I'll see his hands. Hey, Herbert, ¿puedes abrir la puerta? What's up, man? Hey, let me drop that. Bota eso, ¿ok? Hey, he has something in his hands, bro. All right. All right. You want get this one? You need to go Hey, Herbert, can you open the door? 268, um, can I get a, one additional unit North Commonwealth for 415, man? Hey, Herbert, we're the police, we just want to talk to you. Commonwealth Avenue for 415, man. Yourself in there. Hey, Herbert, can you open the door? 268, 
368. Um, can I get a one additional unit North Commonwealth for 415 man? Hey Herbert! Solo policía, solo queremos hablar contigo. Hey bro, hey, what the fuck? Sorry, he had two machetes. I saw, I saw. He dropped one. He has another one. Is he down? Uh, he got hit. He's bleeding. Okay. You're right, partner. Nah, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna get an RA rolling as well. Be advised, we still have a suspect barricade in a room. Armed with two machetes. You can have units respond from uh, any direction. Any direction. Did the units inside? He just ran onto the roof. You will now see body-worn video from an officer that fired his 40-millimeter launcher at Vasquez. A 40-millimeter, less lethal launcher fires a foam projectile round. The round strikes the person's body and is intended to cause pain. With the beanbag! Over here? Hey, he's 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 over here? Hey, he's
nossa liga, compa. Herbert, bota o machete, ok? Bota o machete. Bola a nossa liga, Herbert. Vai vir aí, 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 vai Can I have you and Hansel and 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 Team, go. Let's leave the with me. There you go. No, 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 Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, the Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in Rampart Division in the City of Los Angeles on July 16, 2019 at approximately 6.43 p.m. Officers assigned to Rampart area responded to the 300 block of North Commonwealth Avenue for a radio call of a man under the influence and hallucinating. When the officers arrived at the location, they were met by the landlord, who advised them that he was renting a room to the suspect. The landlord escorted the officers to the suspect's bedroom door and pointed it out to them. The man inside the room was later identified as Herbert Vasquez. When Vasquez closed the door on the officers, they requested additional units and a supervisor. For approximately 25 minutes, the officers continued talking to Vasquez through that closed door. At one point, Vasquez opened the door armed with a machete and a large knife. That's when the officer involved shooting occurred. Hey, bro. Hey, what the fuck? Closing his bedroom door again, Vasquez exited his bedroom through a window in an attempt to get away. An officer that was outside saw Vasquez trying to get away, notified her fellow officers. She chased Vasquez, who ran into a nearby convenience store. Vasquez ran to the back of the store and was contained in that area by other officers who came to the scene. Approximately 16 minutes after Vasquez entered the store, he was taken into custody. Vasquez had injuries to both hands when taken into custody and bruising on the left side of his torso from being struck by the 40 millimeter round. He was transported to a local hospital for medical treatment. Investigators are waiting for the medical report to determine whether the injuries to his hands are consistent with being struck by gunfire, the machete, or his own knife that he was armed with. Here's the machete and the knife that Vasquez was holding. The machete was recovered near the doorway of his bedroom and the knife was recovered in the store where he was taken into custody. Mr. Vasquez is a 49-year-old resident of Los Angeles with no criminal convictions. He had one prior contact with our mental evaluation unit and has no gang affiliation. 